Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Tundra Mission. My mission today, to impart you with knowledge about the Toyota Tundra. Well, really myself, because I'm still learning about this truck too. And one thing I want to give a disclaimer, I am a professional. Do not shoot YouTube videos while driving around in your vehicle. Anyway, on here today, out cruising around in the truck, and I want to talk about uh, auto stop, because of course this truck has the dreaded, much disliked auto stop in it. But before we get to that, one thing I wanted to show you guys, I did a video recently about the dash cam, and hopefully it came out okay, otherwise you'll never have seen it if it didn't work. But I wanted to show you this, this is the micro uh, SD card. It just pulls out. You kind of pull this little door down and then pull out on it. And the little card kind of sits in here. It slides off, in this case, to the left that way to pull the card out. What I'm curious about is can you replace this card? And the reason that I'm driving around without it in the truck right now is because I don't want to override or overwrite the footage that I shot for the video that I hopefully just posted. And I'd like to be able to put a replacement in there so that if I do shoot footage or I want to save footage, it doesn't get overwritten um, the next time I drive in the truck. And I don't know if it waits until this is full. I believe it does. But erring on the side of caution, I'd like to have a spare. One other thing, when you pull this thing out, and I did that when the truck was turned off. You don't want to do it while the camera is on. But when you pull it out and then restart the truck, you're going to get some warning beeps on the dash cam. Uh, I guess alerting you that there's a problem or no card in it. So just be aware of that. And then you have to go ahead and hold down on the power button on the dash cam to turn it off. So just so you know that. But let's talk about auto stop. Check out right there on the dash. Do you see that? Press brake more to activate. That was me stopped at a stoplight. And one thing I've discovered, and I think Toyota is absolutely brilliant for doing this, unless you really push down on the gas pedal, I don't mean you have to push it through the floorboard or anything, but unless you really push down on it, the auto stop doesn't activate. That means you don't have to remember to turn the switch off or hit the switch because it does have that to disable it every time you restart the truck. If you just don't push the brake down to the floor, it won't activate. And I say that's brilliant on Toyota's part because so many people like me dislike that auto stop feature. And if you think auto stop is in the truck to save gas, you are mistaken. It is in the truck to reduce emissions. In other words, when you're sitting at a stoplight doing nothing but just running the engine, it reduces emissions by not having the truck run. It doesn't save you any gas. If anything, it probably costs you more because one of the biggest uses of gas in any vehicle is starting of that vehicle. And when you're constantly stopping and starting, you're burning more gas. So finally, there is, in my opinion, a solution other than putting in some kind of an aftermarket device or pushing the button every time to not use auto stop. Toyota's got it. Just don't push the brake to the floor every time you stop. And by the way, you can sit with the truck not rolling without pushing the brake all the way to the floor. So it's not like you're gonna be slowly inching forward if you don't push the brake all the way down and activate auto stop. It's a great idea, it's a great way to handle it in my opinion. Kind of the best of both worlds. Toyota meets certainly government requirements to have it and consumer requirements to not use it, unless you want to. It's completely up to you. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, kind of talk about that for a minute. You know, I'm a big uh, disliker of auto stop and being able to not use it when, uh, when driving around in the truck is awesome. Kudos to Toyota for setting it up this way. I'm not sure if others are doing it, but it's a great idea. Leave a comment. Let me know if you've got the new Tundra or any other new Toyota product that has auto stop. Does it function the same way? And you can, in essence, eliminate it by just not pushing the brake all the way to the floor. I'd be curious to know. 
thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.